Hey there, fitness enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, Fitness Fusion. If you're tired of those endless crunches and looking for a refreshing way to challenge your core, you've come to the right place. In today's video, we've got a fantastic beginner-friendly workout that will target and tone your abs with seven engaging exercises. Say goodbye to those repetitive crunches and get ready to transform your core strength. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you're excited to get started. While doing a crunches workout or holding a plank for five minutes is undoubtedly impressive. If you're new to ABS workouts, crunches and planks might not be the best way to target the muscles in your midsection. Strong abs are far more than just an aesthetic goal. They can help you sit and stand with better posture, protect your lower back from injury and perform day-to-day -day activities like carrying a heavy bag of shopping to your front door. But where should you start? The workout I am going to show you in this video requires you to do 10-12 reps of each exercise and repeat the circuit three times. All you'll need for the workout is a set of weights. This could be some of the best adjustable dumbbells or best kettlebells, a set of weight plates, or simply a couple of heavy books or water bottles if you're working out from home. Exercise number one, standing wood chop. Start with your feet shoulder width apart and hold the dumbbell in both hands to one side of the body. For example, start with the dumbbell next to your left hip. Engage your abs and lift and rotate the dumbbell above your right shoulder. As you lift, pivot your left foot so your torso to help the elevation. This is the lift part of the movement. Next comes the chopping part. Moving with control, lower the dumbbell back to your starting position, keeping your core engaged. There should be minimal movement from the trunk during this exercise. Exercise number two around the world. This exercise works best with a kettlebell, but you can use a dumbbell if you need. Start with your feet shoulder width apart and hold a kettlebell in both hands in front of your pelvis. Engage your core and rotate the kettlebell around your body, swapping which hand is holding the kettlebell as it moves around your waist. Keep your torso still and your core braced throughout the movement. Exercise number the three, farmer's carry. To do this exercise, start by standing with your feet hip width apart and two kettlebells placed on either side of your feet. Bend your knees and lower into a squat. Keep your chest lifted and the weight evenly distributed across your feet. Look ahead, grip both kettlebells, engage your core and set your shoulders back and down. Push through your heels to stand. Begin walking without leaning forward, backward or over to one side. Exercise number four, standing twist. This exercise is a standing exercise of a bicycle crunch. The key here is moving slowly and with control. Start by standing with your feet shoulder width apart and your hands behind your temples. Engage your core and lift one knee up towards your chest, keeping a 90 degree bend in the knee. At the same time, twist your torso, dropping your elbow towards the opposite knee. It doesn't matter if they don't actually touch. Reverse the movement to return to your starting position and repeat on the opposite side. Exercise number five, single leg Romanian deadlift. For this exercise, you might want to use a chair or a wall for balance. Start standing with your legs shoulder width apart and bend one leg up towards your chest, keeping a 90 degree angle in your knee. Holding the chair or wall with the opposite side, hinge forwards and take your leg back and behind your body, keeping the bend in your knee. Without letting your foot return to the floor or your leg move out of the 90 degree angle, straighten back to your starting position. Exercise number six, thread the needle. Starting in a side plank position with your bottom knee resting on the floor, your hips stacked and your elbow in line with your shoulder. Lift your upper arm up towards the ceiling. Engage your core to hold here before rotating your torso and threading your arm underneath your trunk before reversing the movement to return to the side plank. Exercise number seven, heel taps. Finally, Lie down on your exercise mat 
ensuring that your lower back is pressed into the mat. Raise your head and neck off the floor, supporting your neck with your hands if you need to, and raise your legs into a tabletop position. From here, engage your core and drop both heels down to the floor, then bring them back to a tabletop position, moving slowly and with control throughout. There you have it, a beginner-friendly workout that will challenge your abs in seven effective exercises. These moves will not only strengthen your core, but also add variety to your routine. Remember, consistency is key to seeing results, so make sure to incorporate these exercises into your regular workout schedule. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more fitness tips and workout routines. And as always, consult with a fitness professional or your healthcare provider before starting any new exercise regimen, especially if you have any underlying medical conditions. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay fit and stay healthy.